It's Thursday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. A pair of hikers got stuck on Quandary Peak yesterday afternoon. Here's Summit Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimons on the Crystal 93 Morning Show. You know, it's the typical thing where people climb up Quandary, they look down, they see their cars down below and go, oh, I'm, that looks like a shortcut. Shortcut, yeah, yeah. And before you know it, they can't go down and they can't go up. They're, they're what we call cliffed out. Summit Rescue Group got help from Flight for Life and the Army National Guard. Getting people and equipment quickly to the top of the mountain so they don't have to hike it. While, in fact, we had, uh, you know, Black Hawk coming in to do a hoist operation to actually rescue these people. One hiker was injured. Both were rescued, but it was a long night. Rescuers were in the field until 10 p.m. The latest wolf map shows reintroduced canines tiptoeing deeper into Summit. At least one wolf was tracked in the upper Blue River Basin, possibly south of I-70. There have been no reported sightings or encounters in local towns or on trails. Wolves have attacked livestock in northern Colorado. The U.S. government is suing Live Nation, owner of Ticketmaster, for a monopoly on the concert industry. 30 states, including Colorado, have joined that federal antitrust suit. They claim Live Nation controls 60% of promotion at major venues and 80% of ticketing. Ford Amp is getting love, and Dylan Amp is getting snubbed on a new list from USA Today. Editors there call Vale's Hot Summer Nights series the best outdoor concert series in the nation. Also making that list is the Levitt Pavilion series in Denver. The biggest class in Summit County history is about to graduate. 300 students at Summit High and Snowy Peaks. And they have big plans for summer, like Lucia Hoffman, Ella Meltzner, and Grayson Kent. Hanging out here, enjoying the last Summit County summer as a high schooler, getting ready for college. We just made a summer bucket list. We're going to be going to Red Rocks concerts, camping, backpacking, all that fun stuff. Working, doing stuff with my friends, all of the fun stuff. Graduation day at Summit High, it's this Saturday. Local avalanche danger, it's generally safe today at every elevation in Summit and across the state. In local entertainment news, showing one more night at the Eclipse in Breck, The Fall Guy, starring Ryan Gosling and a completely underrated Emily Blunt. Debuting tomorrow, it's the new Mad Max movie. In sports, the Rockies beat the Athletics yesterday in 12 innings. They're trying for a series win today at 137. Good news for all you dual sport athletes out there. A new study shows that regular cycling is good for your knees. It is especially good for osteoarthritis after you're 60. But there's some limits on this study. It did not look at mountain biking or how often you must cycle to see these benefits. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz and Associates with American Family in Dillon. Yesterday, it was the Frisco Roundup, opening race of the Town Mountain Bike Series with nearly 200 competitors in Frisco. Winning the men's in the overall title was Nolan Van Hart, taking the women's title was 17-year-old Ayla Harmala. The fastest juniors were Devin Mumford, Siri Kroom, Max Swenson, Tessa Knapp, Gabe Loomis, Nellie Greenwood, Henry Drumright, and Sadie Vodder. Next race in that series will be in two weeks out of the Tiger Dredge. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.